Hi, it's Rob here. I've got one easy thing you can do, probably takes 10 minutes on a Sunday night or a Monday morning to make making money, growing your business, scaling up, making general progress far easier. It's so simple, I'm gobsmacked, most people don't do it. And I'll give you those things, that thing, in just a minute. First thing I wanna say, a lot of people think business is hard and making money is hard and you know, growing through your challenges is hard. Now, I'm not saying it's easy. Those challenges are there designed to make you grow. And once you grow through them, you often have new strategies and techniques to do the thing that you were struggling with better next time. So the first thing I say to you is, as you're going through struggle and challenge, business, money, life, whatever, if you can see the wood for the trees, as they say, and understand that whilst it's difficult now, and maybe it's not as easy as it was last time, or you'd been told, as you go through that struggle and grow through that struggle, you'll pick up new strategies and ways such that you can carry that forward next time for a bigger challenge, for bigger growth, and ultimately it's preparing you for bigger, better, faster, easier. Okay, so um, I don't know why I haven't been doing this for years, um, I probably started this later than I should have done, but every Sunday night, or really early on Monday morning, I do this simple thing where I write down 15 business or money-making ideas for the next seven days. Simple. So just what are 15 ways I can grow my business, make more money, either within the business I've got or a new business, so it might be a new idea, or it might be something existing or latent. And what I'll do is I'll email that to my MD, who I work with closely on growing the business, and I'll email it to myself, and then every week I'll reply to myself so that we've got this big trail of 15 ideas every single week to grow your business and make more money. Now, when you first do it, you may find, well, I can come up with uh, one, and I'm already trying it and it's not working. So the key is just to get 15 down, no matter how silly or out there or crazy they may seem, because the, in addition to actually having things that you can do to make more money that you can actually implement, you're training your brain to um, get better at ideation, at creativity, at you know, looking at um, thinking outside the box and getting beyond the few things you already do. Because what, like, what you'll find is you're doing what you've already done to get what you've already got, um, and of course, the definition of insanity, according to Einstein, is doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result. So once you push through three or four or five ideas, those next 10 are probably going to be things you haven't thought of before. Some of them will be so quirky you'll never do them. Some of them will be ideas you can give to others. Some of them will be joint ventures you could do. And um, before you know it, three, four weeks down the line, you might be having 20 or 30, in fact, your only problem will be too many ideas. So I'll just uh, give you a random uh, blurge. I've got no script behind me. I'll look you right in the eye as I tell you this so that you know I'm not cheating. But uh, some random ideas you could do to make money in your business. Number one, you could call all your clients and survey them. You could ask them, what do they want? What do they need? What are their pains? What are their problems? You could do the same with the survey monkey online. You could ask them, what do they need? Uh, and therefore, um, create that for them. You could cross sell to them, so you could sell them different products. You could upsell to them, so that they bought something and then they buy the next level. Oh, battery's going low, better get quick. Uh, you could, um, if you look at how many debtor days you've got, or you look at how many, um, you know, how much debt you have, and you could look at bringing that forward, i.e. getting on the phones and saying, hey, come on, you know, the invoice is outstanding. Please, can you um, pay up so then you bring more cash flow in? You could look at new marketing strategies. So all the marketing strategies you've been interested in that you haven't done, you could look at those. You could, you could look at new technology and new disruptions. You could analyze all your competition and work out what they're doing and seeing if there's anything that they do that you could benefit from. You could hire a salesperson if you don't have a salesperson or hire another salesperson. You could update your website. Mine definitely needs an update. You could do a live feed video. You could uh, write a, a new book or a new piece of content. You could, um, I don't know, you could uh, solve a meaningful problem in the world. You could do um, some kind of weird, crazy viral marketing campaign. You could um, run an event for charity and donate um, many of the proceeds to charity, in which case you might get more customers or clients. 
I don't know, you know. The list goes on of the things that you could do. Now, what I generally tend to do, someone's just said taking notes. I like that. Um, what I generally tend to do is forget what I was going to say because I've forgotten what I was going to say. Hmm. Now, if you want to cheat on this, this is what you do. You ask your team, your staff, your friends, uh, your community members and followers, ask them what ideas they think you should implement in your business. And then you're, I was going to say cheating, you're not cheat, cheating, but you're leveraging leverage. So often when I get stuck, I might say to you, in fact, why don't I do this now? Um, what ideas do you think you could implement in your business? Or do you think I could implement in my business? Why don't you share some suggestions? It's great that everyone's saying morning and hi, but you know, let's turn this into something real. So what ideas could you implement or could we all implement that could grow our business? You know, uh, We could phone up all of our clients and ask for referrals. We could read that sales or that marketing book that um, you know, we've had on the shelf that we wanted to read. Uh, a great book is The Sandler Rules for Selling. A great book for marketing is How to Sell Anything to Anybody by Joe Girard. You could read that book and implement all the referral strategies. You could have an ambassador program. You could have an affiliate program where, you know, you're basically saying to people, hey, you can earn 10 or 20 percent or even 50 percent if you promote my products and services. You could do a JV with someone who's already got the product or the service that you're looking to create. Go to them um, and, and look to do a deal with them and, and share the, um, you know, share the profits. There you go. There's more ideas. I could just rant about this for ages. In fact, it should be a Rob's rant episode. Let's make it a Rob's rant episode. Um, so yeah, keep pinging the ideas through. But the point is, more than just the ideas, because you might only have one or two that you can physically implement in that one week, and that's okay. Um, but, but what you'll find is, number one, you know when you reply to yourself, reply to yourself each week, you'll go down the list and there'll be one that's always there. Like, you know, I have the Rob Moore Academy, which um, is a, a global online platform, it's only 9.99 a month. But you know, I, I don't promote it, never promote it, so I could go and promote that. You know, and I'm, you know, maybe have 10,000 members across, across the globe. That's, something I don't do. You know, like I don't do this and I'm not intending to do this, but I could look at sponsor sponsors for my podcast because, you know, there's more revenue there. You could look at selling ad space on some of your web pages if they get a lot of traffic. By the way, I'm not saying you should because, you know, I, I like to sort of um, be pure and not have ads running every two minutes, but that's definitely something you could do. You could join a lot more Facebook communities and you could build a brand and give value. Um, you know, you could start selling if you're not selling, so you could embrace selling a lot more. Uh, you could um, ask your sales team what are the friction points in when they're selling stuff. Um, you know, what, what feedback are they always getting from the clients that they don't want? What's difficult? What are the quality of the leads? You know, what do we need to be saying differently in our marketing? You could subscribe to um, many podcasts on sales and marketing and listen to them and implement the strategies. Um, and if you're watching this video and you're not subscribed to my podcast, The Disruptive Entrepreneur, get your ass over there and subscribe now. Um, bit.ly forward slash D-I-S-E-N-T podcast. I think we're nearly at 160 episodes now. So there you go, loads of ideas. So your action step to know and not to do is not to know. When all is said and done, more is said than done. So do this, do it. And that is, put in your diary on Sunday night or Sunday afternoon, maybe do it when you've had a coffee or you've just been for a run, or maybe do it as you go out for a walk in nature where you, where you know you're feeling creative. Because if you just lock yourself in a little box and try and come up with 15 ideas, or you've got like kids and everything everywhere, it might be harder to do. And um, I'd start with 15 minutes at first, because what you don't want it to do is it to take an hour, because it shouldn't. Start with 15 minutes, try and come up with 15, make up some crazy ideas, send it to yourself, send it to a team member that keeps you accountable, do that every week, and I promise you, you will make a ton more money, you'll have more ideas than you can shake a stick at, you'll probably have to create more partnerships to fulfill all those ideas, and you'll grow your business, and you'll grow through your problems. All right, I hope you found that useful. Thanks for tuning in. I'm off to London to do the second day of the audible recording of my book, Money. 645 pages. And you've made me read it. I'm doing this for you. You better give me the love. Um, thanks for tuning in. And also, if you're listening and you're not in the Disruptive Entrepreneurs community, this is where we extend these conversations where you don't just hear from me, but you hear from all of our... Um, community members, there's what, 6,000 of us in the community. Here's the thing, we've got now, I believe, in excess of a million subscribers across the world. Um, that's unofficial data, but I believe that's the case. And yet only nearly 6,000 of us 
um, are in the disruptive entrepreneurs community. So get in there because, you know, this is not for me. It's not, not a place to, where everyone sells their products and services. This is what well, you can, there's a thread for it. But this is the place where we all discuss, engage, create joint ventures, solve problems, ask questions, have book recommendations, podcast recommendations, audio recommendations. We've just started a thread on the best watches to buy, which will grow. Um, you know, the sales, the marketing, the finance, the accounting. I even share my template. Um, the job description I created for my PA, which is quite a quirky one. I've even shared that in the group. I've shared all the best autobiographies I've watched, all the best apps I use. So get yourself in there. Thanks for tuning in. Remember, if you don't risk anything, you risk everything. And go out there and smash the heck out of your day.